with the weather changing outside, I thought I would drop this hidden but wide piece of adventure advice. So some may know, some may not know. This episode is to clear that up so everyone knows that listen to this. There is this amazing tool on your phone. Now, there's a lot of amazing tools in your phone, but this one finds things. Now, if you're like any other kid, or if you have kids that are like any other kids, and you probably do, they like finding things. They like the discovery. They like the unknown of something that they don't know, and it's like this treasure hunt. Well, there is this thing called geocaching. Geocaching has been around for a long time, and geocaching is essentially a worldwide phenomenon. This isn't something that's just the United States, Canada. There is literally geocaches, as they're called, all over the United States. So the step one is to go to your app store, either on your Google phone or your iPhone, and essentially search for geocaching. There's a couple different apps. They're all pretty much the same. There is a premium plan with it, but there's also a free plan. And essentially the difference is, is the premium one gets you better geocaches and the free one has cheaper and easier geocaches. Not necessarily easier, but the quality of what you're finding is definitely pretty simple. Now, the beauty of this is I would take a bet that there is probably at least five geocaches within a five mile radius of anywhere in the United States. It is that popular. We did this last fall with my kids. It was an afternoon and we just pick one, go find it. And essentially it's these little like pill bottles or any type of little small container. It has a log. You write your geocache name on it and the date you found it and you record it and you can actually put comments on that geocache. And to kind of see, and sometimes there's trinkets, sometimes there's a trinket, you leave a trinket, you take a trinket. But it's kind of this record of discovery that other people have gone through. And it's just something very simple. And it can burn a good two hours if you let it. And depending on where you're at and depending on how diverse the geocaches in your area is. So simple adventure, simple homework, really good memories, and steps to do again. Download the geocaching app, pull it up. It's fairly simple. Plan an afternoon on it. Doesn't take a lot of exercise. Doesn't take a lot of planning. And it can happen really anywhere. You could be on a road trip. You could be anywhere in the United States or the world. Look up geocaching and find something and leave something, like I said. So simple message, simple lesson. But that's the point of this podcast is because the little, the little things, whether it be geocaching or whether it be this or whether it be that, those little things are what make fatherhood better and it's those little things that i'm focused on every day bring them to more towards you that'll be it and i'll be back again with you guys tomorrow